Hey beautiful ones, um, I just wanted to come and redo a live that I did this morning because uh, many of you said that it was cutting in and out. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, just standing here on my balcony, it's the most beautiful sunset I have to show you. Oh my goodness, hey Stacy, look at this, it's oh, so beautiful, hey Zully. Anyway, you can't really see the way that I can right now. It's amazing. But what I wanted to share with you was, um, I had a call this morning with a really lovely girl in the UK and um, she was going through a lot, you know, uh, very lonely, feeling incredibly left behind, um, emotionally shut down, um, terrified to express herself and, and had a major fear of rejection when it came to relationships, which many of you can relate to. Uh, thanks, Stacey. And we got down into, you know, what this was costing her and the pain that it was cost, like causing her in her heart. Um, but when, you know, it came to like, I said, hey, like today, are you willing to actually, you know, step up and, and, and decide to change, right? And to do whatever it's going to take, right? This is very simple, simple, simple stuff that I always ask anyone um, who's wanting to join Soul to Soul because this work is not for people that just want to be casual or just dabble with their life or just hope for the best. Um, hi, gorgeous shells. Um, and I said that to her honestly. I go, darling, is today the day? And she's like, well, I'm not decisive and I'm not someone who's resourceful and I'm really scared. And I said, well, I hate to break it to you, but this conversation is kind of now becoming like redundant <laughs> because I said, these traits are non-negotiable. Like every single woman that lands in my vortex of soul to soul are those traits. They are decisive, they are committed. They are gonna do whatever it's gonna take to get resourceful because in this world, there is always the resources, seriously. like. If you, I always use this example, but it's just a good one. But if you needed to go and get heart surgery this week, because someone said, sorry, you're on your last legs, you would go and find the money. Or I, I, I hardly think you're just going to say, oh, I'm just going to die. You go, you know what, whatever the fucking money is, I'll do it. And I'll get resourceful because I want to live. And this is the same energy with the way that you treat yourself with your future and with your life. And this girl was a sweetheart and I could feel the pain. And I said to her, I'm gonna to have to wrap the call right here because there's no point in me inviting you in um, if you're not gonna to choose to be in that attitude of like claiming this and fighting for this. Because what we're talking about here is not just how do I you know, go to the shop and buy a cup of coffee. We're talking about you dissolving over 30 years of conditioning and without being decisive without making a decision and calling it and going, you know what, why not me? I deserve to fucking thrive, right? Without choosing to invest in yourself and choosing to like fucking like cross that bridge of fear and go, you know what, I want more for myself. I'm gonna trust my heart. If you can't do that for yourself, um, you're not gonna change your life. My women are scared out of their brains. All of you girls watching right now can relate. Hey, gorgeous Shelly. Hey, Zully. Um, when it comes to really stepping up in our life, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You can't just expect that transformation is going to just happen to you. No. So um, I just said to her, look, you know, we had a lovely, lovely, lovely connection. And she was someone that said, you know, I, 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 I'm not good at being emotional. I'm not good at feeling. And by the end of the call, she was crying her eyes out because she was really connected. And I sent her away with so much love. And I said, when you are ready to truly choose yourself, then you come back to me. But until then, hang out in my free group, but don't expect change, you know, like catch my lives and watch all the testimonials. But I said, you've got to, you've got to put yourself first because she was so terrified of being in the same place this time next year that she was feeling suffocated. Yet when it came to like, hey, are you gonna choose yourself today? No, 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 I'm not decisive, I'm not. Well, I was like, well, what are we having a conversation for? So I just really wanna point out, like for those of you that are not where you wanna be, you cannot afford to let yourself buy into your own bullshit of telling yourself what you can't do because the truth is we can all choose to step up. We can all get resourceful. Um, it's an attitude, it's a way of being and that's where transformation starts with a decision to do what it's gonna take to change. And I'm blessed and grateful to 
and, and I feel very privileged and deeply honored to support so many amazing women. Um, most of my women are scared shitless uh, when they when they choose to step up. They're like, oh my God, I've never like valued myself this much and I'm, I don't even know what's gonna happen, you know, but they're, they're, they're learning to trust themselves and their heart space for the first time. And I had, I have a beautiful girl um, who's just started Soul to Soul. By the way, this is a much bigger conversation than just about joining Soul to Soul. This is about being decisive and taking control of your life, like in, in every other area. I see people wanting to buy a car and they'll, they'll be, oh, well, I'll just think about it or I'm not sure and I'll just wait till I find the right one. And they stall in every other area of their life. So it's really not just, this is not about me plugging soul to soul at all. This is actually me, I don't need to, <laughs> I actually don't. Um, I'm very, very grateful for where I'm at right now, but this is not about that. This is about me inviting you girls to crack open your truth and having the courage to fucking crack the mold of the bullshit, of the limitations that you are accepting by not activating change because there is help here, there is support here available to you. And, um, and it's sacred. And for the first time in, in many of my women's lives, they're like, I've never felt supported like this. And there's a girl, beautiful girl who just joined, she's from Australia. Um, and I, I, I loved her at Hello. And she was terrified, right, to say yes to choosing herself. And she's like, I've been on the fence. I've known I've needed to do something for a long time now. And she goes, I'm ready. But that doesn't mean she wasn't scared out of her brain. She's been in Soul to Soul for one week and she brought us all to our knees this week. She said, Lucy and Soul Sisters, for the first time in 31 years, I've been able to connect with my heart. And she's in week one. I was in tears. I was like, holy shit, this is huge. And I just, I just honestly, like, it, I never get immune to seeing someone um, connect with their heart and to claim their power and to start feeling connected to themselves again. It never gets old. Uh, it just actually, I actually just get more lit the, the, the more I go along this journey. I'm like, yes, sister. Um, and she's grinning from ear to ear and she's just like, I had so much resistance to this. I had, and, and even when she first came into the program, you know, she was like, I have so much resistance to even doing the work now because now I'm scared to actually get what I want. And that's a syndrome as well that I see so much of is like us humans are freaking like batshit crazy half the time, like me included. I used to get in my way so much because I was like scared of my light and scared to have it all because we all, well, not we all, but many of us are scared of like, well, it can't, you know, it can't be that good. And if it is, I'll just lose it anyway. And so then you start to fall into that no man's land territory of, well, what's the point of trying? Because it'll only get taken from me anyway. Can you relate to that? And that's also how you feel about love. What's the point in really sharing who I am and, and exposing my heart if this guy is just gonna leave anyway? Because your deep belief is, is that love isn't safe, that men don't stay. And this is something that's been deeply conditioned in your subconscious that's keeping you out of love. So it's completely redundant to be out there dating online or going to a matchmaker or getting your friends to set you up with someone if your core belief is that love doesn't work for you. Seriously, you, you might be better off going for a surf or sitting at home with a good book because your inner GPS is not set to letting love in. It's set to repelling it and to push it away at all costs because it doesn't feel safe for you. So going back to the beginning of why I came on to do this live is to say that don't limit yourself by saying that you're something. like. Don't limit yourself right now by saying, I'm not someone who's decisive or I'm not someone who's resourceful because it's a belief issue. It's not a real issue. You're buying into your own bullshit that's keeping you small and you're basically choosing to stay stuck, choosing your limitations, choosing that there is no way out. When there is, it's like the keys are being dangled. And you're like, no, thanks. I'd rather stay struggling. Thank you. I'd rather buy into my own bullshit. Thank you. And then you wonder why you end up in the same place a year from now, two years from now, and completely put your freaking fertility on the line. That's a choice. Then regret seeps in. Then I wish I had and I should have creep in. And then down the track, because illness is just dis-ease, right? Disconnecting from our flow, that sets in as well. So this is a really monumental conversation. It's a really big conversation to realize that you are the creator of your life. 
you are the one that gets to choose to step up and change the trajectory of your life or to stay where you are eating your bullshit excuses for breakfast lunch and dinner and then sitting there complaining that love doesn't work for you and i've got to tell you right now love is for everyone there is a soulmate for everyone it is my firm belief that every single person on the planet can have a soulmate relationship hey gorgeous julia all that's standing in between you and your divine soulmate are your shitty beliefs that you have been conditioning over and over again. And it really, really takes something to, to redirect your life. It's not enough to just read a book or to say a couple of affirmations and think that that's enough. It's not. I wish it was. Hey, gorgeous Jazz. Hey, Julia. How are you? So um, this is a call to anyone sitting in this group that is just hovering, flirting with your dream. But deep down also admitting, I want you to admit to yourself right now that a big part of you doesn't believe that, that it's possible for you to experience the level of love that I'm talking about. And I know what that's like because that was me for a very long time. I was always the bridesmaid or the MC, but I was never the bride. And I just accepted that. This is a scary part. I honestly was just so busy jazz handsing and like, everything's great, everything's great. And just buying a new dress for a different wedding and just hoping that my man would show up. Meanwhile, my inner GPS was set to, I'm not good enough. I'm just a free spirit and I'm not soulmate material. And I was just living in hope that my knight in shining armor was just gonna come and sweep me off my feet. And uh, that, was, that was the way I was really thinking it was gonna go. Meanwhile, I wasn't doing anything to shift my vibration or my belief system, and I was dabbling with self-development. And um, it's not, it's, it's simply, my God, I just, I'm saying this like, please hear me, like, it's not enough to, to cause big change. You've got to love yourself more than that. You've got to value yourself more than that to go, I'm going to do whatever it fucking takes to be the chosen one. I'm, I'm willing to invest in myself, to value myself enough, because if you're just trying to keep it small, like one of my girls came to me and she admitted after she joined my program, she goes, when I was getting on a call with you, I said to my friend, I'm going to speak to this girl, Lucy. And if it's more than a hundred bucks, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I was like, is that really what you think it's worth? A hundred dollars to change your fucking life? Yet we, we find a way to be resourceful to go and buy a car and to buy a house. But it was like, and I so get it because I've been in that place myself where I was doing the bare minimum because I used to live in such scarcity and I didn't put value on self-development either. Like, I'm serious. I was like, well, if I spent a hundred bucks for a day workshop, like that's a lot. But you girls have got to get present to the fact that you're happy to drop over thousands, you know, thousands of dollars on a trip, um, on university, on education, on bettering yourself. But when it comes to your heart, like we're not taught that that's okay for us to actually invest in that. And for me, like now I'm like, that is the fucking most critical thing that you could ever invest in is yourself. Because this work I teach is not about your soulmate. Like, yeah, it is, but it's so much bigger than that. It's about learning how to actually crack your heart open and to, to be who you really are and to unearth your self-expression and to live with conviction and certainty about what it is that you want in this world and to take up space unapologetically and to give less fucks and to own who you are. Because until you do that and until you make that a priority, you're just going to get around in fucking vanilla town and attract in beige guys. Yeah, guys that will fucking bore you shitless because deep down you're boring yourself shitless with your own mediocrity. And yeah, I'm gonna say it. So that's my message um, today to say like, stop hiding behind your own limitations and your own scarcity where you're living with this lid on, telling yourself that, oh, I, I, I can't do that. Like that program's for other people because it's not. Because the women that come and rock it, that come and work with me, they're not sitting around like millionaires saying, oh yeah, they fucking choose to step up and they fight for it and they do that, right? And, and, and it's, a, it's an attitude. And when you show the universe I'm worth investing in and I'm worth making myself a priority, the universe goes, oh, okay, awesome. Let's go and take care of that woman because she's freaking serious about her life. And that's what it took for me with my own life to get out of my own bullshit and my own limitations and my own scarcity because I used to be governed by scarcity. I'm the first to admit it. 
seriously, I lived with such a lid on and such a cap, especially financially. I was just like, ooh, I only have a, ever have just enough. And I just was living in this utter, utter um, less than, like less than um, identity. Yeah, like I'd look around and be like, oh, that's for other people. And I'll just keep being like the fun girl and hope for the best. Like, no, it was, it, it cost me actually a lot of time. At the end of the day, time is what we don't get back. And um, I'm just here to really shine the light and say, you know, I'm not lucky. I, I, I create my life intentionally. Um, whenever someone says to me, oh, but you're just lucky, Lucy. I say, my name might be Lucy without the K. Hello, hummingbird. I said, and I feel very, very lucky and very, very blessed. But I said, this didn't just happen to me. I got so fucking intentional and I made it not negotiable that I was going to attract my soulmate and live the best life that I possibly could because I could feel that it was within me. And it's inside of you right now, right? To have the most lit up life, to experience intimacy and connection and to unleash that sensuality that you have inside of you, that beautiful voice, that beautiful essence that you have, all of that inside of you, trust me right now, your soul is begging you to step up begging you to take yourself seriously because this isn't just affecting your love life. This is, you know, um, if, if you're an actor, this is, this is keeping you as the understudy or the extra when you could, you're meant to be the fucking leading lady. Um, no matter what profession women come to me in, like this work can't help but affect your career. I have women coming to me who change professions halfway through or who start getting pay rises and promotions halfway through because their worth starts to rocket fuel, right? So at the end of the day, we all have a choice. Do you want to struggle through life? Do you want to survive through life? Do you want to complain? Do you want to be the victim and feel hardly done by? Or are you ready to fucking show the universe who's boss, to take up space and to live while you're alive? That's my question to you. And then all you've got to do is decide and then you follow through and take action from there. And when you get quiet enough to listen to your heart, to go, you know what? I want more, I deserve more. I'm going to do what it takes the teacher appears. And then it's just about saying, yes, why wouldn't I do this? Why wouldn't I honor myself to, to make this my best year yet? And to actually not just sit there wanting my soulmate, but to actually do what it takes to attract him and every other opportunity in. Hey, gorgeous Jen. Hey, Shelly. So uh, I'm going to go inside because my hands are getting cold. But just so you know, there's been a beautiful hummingbird that's joined us um, uh, hovering up and down. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm sending you lots of beautiful hummingbird energy. Hummingbirds are magical. They are full of prosperity. That's the message for you. Prosperity is your birthright. And um, it's time for me to go inside and to hug my baby. Here's the sunset. Beautiful. Mwah.